Hi, and welcome to this Launchpad Pro tutorial. Although the Launchpad Pro is an excellent control surface for Ableton Live, in standalone MIDI mode, it is equally a powerful control surface for any other DAW. In this example, we'll see how we can use the Launchpad Pro to control Logic Pro 10. We'll control the instruments and drum machines with note and drum mode, and we'll control the plugins and mixer in Logic Pro 10 using the Launchpad Pro's fader mode. To get started in Logic Pro 10, simply plug the Launchpad Pro in via USB and you're all set up. So I've loaded the drummer plugin onto channel 1 in Logic Pro 10. If I put the Launchpad Pro into drum mode, the samples are arranged easily in this format. I'm going to play in and record a loop with the drummer. Now that I've recorded the drums, I'm going to move back to note mode. In this mode, I'm going to make some key assignments within Logic to the Launchpad Pro. The first assignments I'll make are Select All and Quantize. These will help speed up my workflow while recording in Logic. To make a keystroke assignment, go to the Logic Pro 10 menu and choose from the key commands menu, Edit. In here, I'm going to search for Select All. Find Select All, learn new assignment. I'm going to assign this to the Shift button. Now that I've made this assignment, I'm going to assign the Quantize function. Again, I'll search for Quantize in the Search menu. I'll choose Quantize Selected Events, press Learn New Assignment, and I'm now going to assign this to the Quantize button on the Launchpad Pro. Whilst I'm in the key commands page learning some new assignments, I'm going to add some more to the list. The next one I'll learn is Cycle or Loop Mode. The next assignments I'll make will be Zoom Mode. Horizontal zoom I'll assign to the send and stop clip button on the Launchpad Pro. The vertical in and out zoom I'll learn to the bottom of the scene play buttons. Finally, I'm going to assign the record button. When I assign this, it will automatically play. Now in the arrangement window, I can use the assigned key to switch the loop on and off. I'll double click on the Bluebird kit I've created and use the zoom functions to zoom in on the notes. I can press the shift button, which I assign to select all, and then quantize this drum part to make it perfectly in time. This is a great way of tightening up your beats when you're recording in Logic. I've just recorded in a quick bass line, and now I'm going to record some pads in note mode of the Launchpad Pro. On the pad sounds, I'm going to use the Launchpad Pro to add some additional control over my parameters. To do this, I'm going to move into fader mode on the Launchpad Pro. To access fader mode, I press and hold the setup button and choose the purple pad 
from the lip pads at the top of Launchpad Pro. Now in fader mode, I'm going to move to the synth and I'm going to change the cutoff point of the filter using the faders from Launchpad Pro. To learn this assignment, I'll press Command and L on the computer. Now I'm going to press the cutoff point of the synth and choose from the Launchpad Pro the fader that I want to use. I'll do the same for the resonant peak. This time, I'll learn this to the second fader on the Launchpad Pro. When I've made the assignments, I'll press Command and L to come out of Learn Assignment mode. Now, I'll hit Play on Logic, and we'll use the faders on the Launchpad Pro to change the sound. created some assignments to the parameters of my pad sound on channel 3, I'm going to go to a different MIDI channel on the Launchpad Pro and make some fresh assignments to Logic's mixer. To change MIDI channel, I simply press the setup button and choose the appropriate MIDI channel from the blue pads at the bottom of Launchpad Pro. Here I've selected channel 2. Now I've assigned to MIDI channel 2, I'm going to MIDI learn the mixer in Logic. Now I press Command and L, and I can learn the assignment to the Launchpad Pro. When I've finished learning the assignments, I can press Command and L to come out of Assignment Learn mode. So we've shown you a few MIDI mappings that we've created in Logic Pro 10. Of course, anything that is MIDI mappable in your DAW software can easily be mapped to the Launchpad Pro. If you want any more details on Launchpad Pro, subscribe to the YouTube channel or check out the Novation website.